Hello and welcome to the Sands of Time Review Channel. It is your host, Sammy Thunder. Back at it once again with another one of my owner's reviews. And this is a watch that has been my possession for, for a month now. And it is a watch that has belonged to a friend of mine. And I have always been intrigued with Nomos as a brand. And um, the Nomos Tetra line has always been the, the line that I personally would go for. Uh, if I ever purchased the Nomos watch, and I have it with me right here today, is the Nomos Tetra in its most quintessential form. Um, Nomos is a brand that is very, um, it, it is inspired by Bauhaus, or Bauhaus design philosophy, and you can see that through the uh, design aesthetics of this watch and the design choices, the minimalism and modern modern take to the watch is something is, that is emphasized by the brand Nomos. Now Nomos is notorious for extremely long lugs if you look at their other um, variants or models such as the Club Campus or the Orion or the Tangente Neomatic. Um, they, they are models that feature long lugs and for me personally and for people with extremely small wrists you definitely don't want thin slender lugs that are just sticking out because it just it doesn't look that great um, so for me personally when I saw the Nomos Tetra line you know the lugs weren't long you know the watch itself has a 40.5 mil uh, lug to lug distance so this is an extremely wearable watch on smaller wrists but also larger wrists simply because it's a square shaped watch this isn't something that's circular faced if this was a circular faced watch um, and just for context, this is a 29.5 mil uh, length, 29.5 mil uh, width as well. Because this is a square watch, this will wear much larger because it covers more area. And not to mention that a lot of Nomos watches, it really is the dial which covers most of the watch. Whereas with some other watches, you might see protruding bezels which are much longer and the dial face might be a bit smaller. Uh, this is not the case with Nomos, so a lot of the dial, uh, sorry, a lot of the watch itself is majority dial, so less case, more dial uh, in this case, and and this is why the Nomos uh, Tetra wears so well on, you know, my 7.1 inch wrist, which is, you know, a medium to large size wrist. Um, I've never had any form of anxiety wearing the watch, uh, never thought, oh, this really is a small watch. Uh, why would you purchase this, etc. No, this is actually a fairly large watch and this would be the model I'd go for. Now, Nomos releases the Tetra line in many variations and colors. They even have a smaller smaller model for ladies or even gents if they want, prefer an even smaller model or just different color variations, uh, which just look extremely well, uh, really good. However, with this model here, this is their most basic, this is their most quintessential uh, uh, model here as you can see you've got that silvery silvery dial uh, you got that thermally blued uh, hand components with the minute hour and seconds hand all thermally blued um, capped as well um, not to mention you have arabics from 12 to 4 8 10 uh, and the rest are stick indices and obviously you have your six o'clock uh, sub seconds uh, complication so you have a small seconds complication there um, so the watch itself is just, you know, uh, extremely slender as well. It's it's a dre it's a quintessential dress watch, but it's a watch that you can wear for everyday purposes. Um, it's 6.3 mils in height. So this is a 6.3 mil case. It's extremely thin. It's extremely wearable. It's elegant. Uh, it's classy and it's modern. You know, it's a square watch. It isn't rectangular. It's not trying to be a Cartier uh, Santos or a Cartier Tank or a Bascalante or a JLC Reverso. It's its own unique thing. And a lot of watches in the past as well, just, you know, your vintage watches from, from Swiss brands that have these uh, square shape as well. Um, so that that's one good thing about it. In terms of, you know, this is a quintessential dress watch, so don't expect high... Water resistance from the watch, you'll at most get three atmospheres of water resistance 
Um, so it, it's technically splash proof. Um, and I'll get back to that later. Um, and it obviously it comes with this uh, Horween shell cordovan strap, uh, which is just, you know, it's a premium leather strap, extremely, makes the watch extremely dressy, but you have the option of purchasing their suede straps for a much more casual look. You have the option of putting whatever strap you really want. It's all up to you. Um, and especially paired with a silvery white dial like this, um, it really is a strap monster. The watch itself has a signed crown. The entire case itself is full polished. There is no complex forms of polishing. There's no real complexity. Um, maybe the lugs itself, as you can see, you've got that Art Deco style. That's probably the only complex thing about this watch. It's meant to be simple. It's not meant to emphasize, you know, through uh, various forms of uh, finishing, such as brushing. They've kept it simple with a fully polished case. And albeit the actual polishing on the case is nice. Um, it actually is a mirror finish, as you can see. Um, obviously it's not a Zeratsu mirror finish polishing, but the, the polishing on the watch is, uh, is good, especially it's good for the price. Uh, there is absolutely no complaints over there. And obviously I've gone through the dimensions um, and why this watch is very wearable. And I'll go through some wrist shots later. Uh, towards the end of the video. Um, the watch itself is fitted uh, through screws, so it's not a screw down. Um, they've just screwed in the case back itself through four screws. You can probably notice that a screw is missing. So the friend of mine that uses this watch has had this watch for two years, and obviously you can see the wear and tear, um, but he actually uses this watch, you know, he doesn't mind using it for everyday purposes, uh, outdoor activity, because when a dress watch or when a watch is this thin, you really don't even feel it. You really don't even know you're wearing a watch, which is, this. that's a good, that's a compliment. And you probably notice that there's a screw just missing there. And look, that may, you know, after two years, um, you know, maybe just throwing, you know, the watch like that on the on the surface, I don't know, different pressures, you know, the screws come out. So I would highly suggest you don't even um, make sure it doesn't come in contact with water. Uh, that's definitely important. Um, now, the other star of the show is, you know, you're not just paying for a simple dial. What you are paying for is a lot more that's happening in the, in the back. And you have a manual wind alpha caliber. Now, this is an in-house movement by Nomos, the brand, but it is based off the architecture of the Peugeot 7001, um, which is what the ETA 7001 is based off as well. Um, but, you know, for simple terms, it's based off the Peugeot 7001 manual wind caliber, but Nomos have decorated this and added functionality to it uh, that classes this watch as in-house. It meets the full specs for an in-house uh, movement design and this is what you get with the Alpha Caliber. Now to zoom in a little bit, um, you can see it's a three-quarter plate. So that's very different to what you'd get from the, the Peugeot 7001. So obviously this is a German brand, Nomos. Nomos manufactured in Glashütte. Uh, this is a, a beautiful German watch and that means that you're going to get German finishing uh, on the movement itself. So the first thing I noticed with this watch compared to typical manual winds with the 7001 is, is that you will have stop seconds. So even my e, even my 6498 Unitas movement doesn't have a, a stop seconds. Nomos have implemented stop seconds, which is great, which allows for you to accurately set the time. So form and function suffice. Bauhaus design is there. Next, Glasuda stop work. So Glasuda stop work, compared to other annual, manual ones I've used, right? Um, when I manually wind this watch to its maximum, I can really feel pressure. Like I can really feel it. And what you're seeing that is through this component over here, which is a clutch system, which prevents overwinding. So at the moment, I haven't it isn't overwinded, but you can really feel the resistance once you've reached it. And you can see that motion in place there. Um, so it, it really is difficult for me to actually overwind this watch. And that's great. Compared to my Unitas movement, I can 
you know, I can, uh, there is a clutch mechanism, but Nomos have implemented in a way that you have very strong user feedback. And that's something I appreciate. Obviously, I've gone through the three quarter plate design. Um, the watch itself features 17 joules. It's a 17 joule movement and it's written in German there. Um, the watch features tempered blued screws. So thermally blued screws, as you can see on throughout the plate. Um, you know, so that's an extra touch there. They're thermally blowing the screws, which is a bit of a laborious process there as well. Um, the actual components and parts in the watch movement, such as the plates, are rhodium plated. So the surface itself is rhodium plated and it features the Glissuda ribbing and Nomos pelage. So Nomos pelage is under the balance wheel. You can see the pelage there and the Glissuda ribbing, which is Cote de Genève, um, uh, you know, that's throughout the plate. So it, this, the movement itself is actually much more shinier in person. The, just the way they've done the uh, the Glissuda ribbing there, or just the Coach de Genève. And obviously with the ratchet and crown wheel, we have what's called Glissuda sunburst. And you can see that with the sunburst pattern on the uh, two wheels, the ratchet and crown wheel. Um, so that's kind of what you're getting with the movement. And if we go deeper, into the movement itself, you can see that they actually have uh, beveled the edges of the plate, which is nice. It's a very nice touch. But what Nomos can do in the future is actually uh, give us anglage, which is the finishing where they actually polish that beveled edge. Uh, it's what you see on watches at Patek with you know high horology movements such as that you'd get from Patek Philippe. Um, you get that anglage there. If they're able to achieve that, I mean, the movements on these watches will look sublime. And and through Philip Dufour's, uh, Dufour's word, sorry, um, he mentioned that this Nomos is a huge value proposition. And and when you look at something like this, you really, you know, to be able to get very close to the Horde horology uh, already is just is great. To get that level of finishing, I can't really think of other brands. Uh, that can, um, you know, at this price point, you know, you, you're looking at movements uh, from Nomos, you know, their automatic caliber, um, which is beautiful, beautifully decorated. It's just very hard to find in-house movements with nice decoration, horology decoration. You can definitely find in-house movements that are great, such as what you'd find on, let's say, the Oris Caliber 400. Uh, with the two barrel design and five day power reserve uh, even from watches from Borman Mercier feature those in-house movements but it really is you know Nomos really feels like that value proposition uh, at the uh, um, you know affordable luxury or mid-tier to affordable luxury um, and that's something to appreciate and you're getting such a classy clean look um, it's you know it's something not everyone's going to appreciate. Some people just find this boring aesthetic. They think it's a waste of money. There's nothing really to it. Nothing's happening. It doesn't tickle them. But for other people, this is great. This is a dress watch. This is a watch that you can wear every day um, as well. And I and you wouldn't have a problem because it's ultra light. It's thin. And it's a feather on wrist. You just, you just won't feel it. Um, so... What I'll do is I'll actually go ahead and do a wrist, a wrist shot, provide a wrist shot there. So I'll wear the watch. So obviously what the watch I was wearing is the full metal G-Shock, a watch I really appreciate. So I'll quickly wear the watch. And this here is the watch on my 7.1 inch wrist. And as you can see, it wears, wears perfectly fine. Uh, thin, classy, elegant, uh, just just a beautiful watch. Now, just before I part ways, I wanted to go through Nomos's what you get when you purchase them on Nomos. So you get a nice wooden box. Um, so it's actually wood, um, Nomos, and he actually comes with a a cover as well, a Nomos bag, which is here. So it's within this and you get all the paperwork signed. Um, you then get this letter, which will most likely have the, the warranty 
warranty card and everything operation of the watch just cleanly packed it's just such a nice box as you can see you then have a giant microfiber cloth nomos a nomos giant microfiber cloth it is huge and these are the additional straps this is a suede leather strap from the brand nomos so you know you really are getting a nice package when you do purchase a nomos watch and you feel like you're buying luxury you feel like you're buying into luxury you feel like you're buying into a value proposition and you should be happy that you own one uh, if you do um and I think the Tetra line, if, if this is something that's a bit boring to you, you can look at different colors from the Tetra line. But this here is the quintessential traditional dress watch. This is what it's meant to be uh, with a little bit of, you know, Bauhaus design to it. And, and that's very nice. So that there is the Nomos Tetra. And, you know, it's, it's, doing, it's doing more for less. You know, you're getting... You feel like you're owning a a piece of luxury here, and and that's why I would I would recommend owning you know so, something from the brand. You know even when you look at the case back itself, the the writing is very minimal. Just the model of the model number, and the model Tetra, uh, the the three quarter plate signed Nomos, uh, signed Crown, Nomos uh, Glass Hooter made in Germany, simple, legible, extremely legible, just the perfect watch, just the perfect dress watch that can be used for everyday situation because of how light it is. So this is kind of my take on the Nomos um, Tetra. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think of this watch and how, how you feel about these dress watches in general and the brand Nomos. Um, I think it's a phenomenal watch. It's so comfortable, uh, and I I really don't have much complaints except the screw that went missing after two years of use. Um, I think that is bound to happen when you you know you wear this quite a bit, and uh, you know wear and tear, abuse of the watch, it tends to happen. Uh, but in terms of movement accuracy, something as well is. Uh, I think around two seconds a day is what's what I'm achieving on this watch, what I've noticed. Um, and the watch itself features a 43-hour power reserve. So it is a short, shorter power reserve. So I think in the future, what Nomos can do is try and increase the overall power reserve. They can also think of applying onglage to the plates. And I think, yeah, I think you, it's, it's, you know, it'll be a true value proposition uh, at that point. You know, it would be a no-brainer. You know, I would automatically just own one. So that's my take on the Nomos Tetra. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Bye.